everyone, my name is Lucretia. I'm currently a second year PhD student here at UC Irvine within the Department of Informatics. And I'm so excited to be showing you my day to day on what I do for research. I know it's been tough since everything has went remote last year, but we still are working. We still are getting my research done. So I'm so excited to take you along my journey. So I like to wake up super early in the morning. The first thing I get done is start reading, um, reading my papers. So I'm doing my comps exam in the spring. So typically with my department in informatics is that we have to create a reading list based on our topic of research. And in, when you want to present and do your exam, um, you produce a 30 plus page paper and you basically do an oral presentation to your committee. So I am focused on doing that and I like to do this early in the morning so I'm less distracted and before the world wakes up I can really hone in and like do my readings and feel like I'm making progress towards my comp and try not to get too behind. Um, so I really like to do that because throughout the day I can leave it for meetings, any errands I have to run, and any schoolwork for classes that I need to take care of. So it's about 10 o'clock now. I'm about to hop on a meeting with a postdoc in my lab. She's amazing. She helps me break through all the things that's in my head, gets me organized. So I'm going to meet with her. Um, I completed and got through a good amount of readings this morning. Then I took a break and I watched Netflix. So I'm binge watching Blacklist. It's so good. And um, so after my meeting with um, the postdoc in my lab, I'm going to um, start um, getting ready for a class that I have this evening. I have two classes this evening. So I'm gonna like start um, re looking through the readings and prepare my notes to contribute to conversation in my classes. my bedroom where my office space is set up so I'm gonna be doing work from my bed today um, in my room and I have this um, this lap desk that I can put up so I rather work from my bed when I'm warm versus out at my desk when it's a little cold out there so <laughs> So, so far today, I had a meeting with my advisors, um, just gave them quick updates of what I'm doing, progress on my reading for comps, as well as some good news. I got my late breaking works paper accepted to the CHI conference. Um, so that's exciting news to always hear that your work has gotten accepted to a prestigious conference. Um, so right now I'm about to go to Starbucks, sit outside, drink a nice drink and do some work and then come back here for my 3.30 lab meeting. So I wanna get some sunshine and before I come back in the house for the day. After 5 p.m. I've been on zoom since 1 p.m. so as you can probably guess I'm a little zoom fatigued so what I'm gonna do is make some dinner get in the shower settle into bed watch some Netflix just collect my thoughts and start over again tomorrow so tomorrow's Thursday I'm gonna start my day again by waking up early have a nice hot cup of tea um, read some papers I have two meetings tomorrow one of my advisor and one of my lab group and just gonna try to fit some things in tomorrow um, in between that time so 
I'll see y'all tomorrow. <laughs> so every Fridays uh, mornings, my lab group, we have a writing session. So we just show up on Gather Town. It's this, it's different from Zoom where we have little characters and we can all sit at a table, a table, a virtual table, and basically just work. Um, and we have like the Pomodoro method. So we work for 25 minutes and get a five minute break. So we do that every Friday for two hours and it's just so helpful. Someone who can be accountable to you. Sometimes like if if you don't have anyone around you, sometimes you will slack off, you know, tend to just relax when everyone's at home. But it definitely holds me accountable to get some work done. And I know a lot of people are actually working alongside me. So that's what my Friday consists of. I worked a little bit more. I've been working since 7 a.m. So now it's about like one-ish. So I'm going to stop and relax for the rest of the day. Because um, then I'll work a little bit this weekend just because um, I've been back home for a while and then, like um the other week i've traveled so i just want to catch up on some things that i want to continue to do so this friday i'm going to continue watching blacklist um i'm almost at season eight <laughs> so i'm going to relax for the rest of the day and um that's all but thank you guys for coming on this journey along with me of how i've been doing graduate school remotely I know it looks different for me since I'm in informatics and a lot of my things are online with it being tech. But I know a lot of people don't have it that way where they actually have to go into the lab. But um, it has been long time since I've been in person to see anyone. Um, Zoom fatigue is definitely real, but make sure you take care of yourself. Don't overwork yourself. And just make sure you are having productive work. If you can't do productive work and you're not productive, just put it away and come back to it later. Work will always be there, so don't kill yourself. That's my motto I live by. <laughs> Everyone does it differently. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. And if you see me around campus, say hi. Um, and definitely feel free to contact me if you have any questions about UCI grad school.